Hi, today I'm making a chicken fajita. Before I began learning Spanish, I used to call them fajitas. First of all, we start with the marinade for the chicken, oil, soy sauce, and barbecue spice. We slice the chicken breasts into strips and place them in the marinade for at least one hour. 24 hours will make them even tastier. Watch this new cling film technology. One little tap, that's it. I love gadgets. Next, we slice the vegetables. Here I'm using one onion, some peppers and some courgettes. You can use any vegetables you want. It's your fajita and you're gonna eat her. And now for a bit of magic, the easiest way to peel garlic. I cut the root side of the clove, crush it lightly and then rub it against my palm. The skin comes off easily. Now we crush the cloves of garlic to make them easier to chop. Now for another bit of magic. This is the easiest way to chop parsley. Stick it in a glass and with a sharp pair of scissors it'll take one minute and your chopping board will remain clean. And now let's cook. As I always say, heat the pan first, then put the oil. You'll end up using less. Now fry the strips of chicken, toss them round for about 3-4 minutes. There's no need to season them because the soy sauce is already salty. Once the chicken is done, keep it in a warm place. If the pan is burnt, then give it a clean, because that's what I did for this. Then add a bit of oil and start on the vegetables. It take three to four minutes, maybe five, depending on the size. A tiny splash of water here is to steam up the vegetables a little bit and release all the caramelized juices from the bottom of the pan. It's not to boil them. Then I add the garlic because as I said, don't add it at the beginning. It will burn and it's hard. Next, it's half a tin of chopped tomatoes. You can use fresh if you want. There's nothing wrong with tinned. tablespoonful of barbecue spice you can get it from any supermarket and there is my magic parsley and now we add the cooked chicken and the juices it's released mix it around to cover it with the sauce and reheat it And why not add some more parsley? It's so easy to cut. Mm. 
and there you are, we're ready to roll. I usually heat the tortilla wraps in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And then I put them on a warm plate and start using the dips that I bought from the supermarket. These are specially made for Mexican food. I've got dropsy, but waste not, want not. I'm not very good at rapping, that's why I joined the male voice choir. Please don't laugh. Bon appétit!